Hello, hello. <laughs> uh, welcome to a little, yeah, not tutorial, more, I would say more than a disassemble process. Uh, because this the shutter in this uh, nice little camera is actually broken. So, uh, I mean, the camera actually works. There is life on the back of the screen and <clears throat> well I can pop the the um, the flash and uh, well but uh, the shutter and well the shutter itself is actually working but I mean part of it but if I lift up the mirror you can see there is something really not good there is one shutter blade that is bent it or bent or well what happened what had happened i don't know but i would like just like to make a well a kind of a tutorial to come into the camera and actually into the shutter uh, so it will also it only will be a disassemble process about the flash <clears throat> I just found out something if the flash is not pop up when pressing up this uh, the flash button <clears throat> one can actually make a um, a small piece of <clears throat> plastic from a package and uh, just put it around I mean put it in here and then it has to go about eight millimeter in here and the upper part of the flash and then put it in here and then slide it in i just make a mark here so it will be easier for people to see and then just gently hopefully hmm. <laughs> not really the best so and pop up the flash What's happened is actually going in here and then push on the little hook. Well, so it is. <clears throat> we do not need to pop the flash. So I will turn the camera off and take out the battery and card and all that stuff. So, <clears throat> and then begin the process of disassembling. Well, just take off the uh, mirror rubber thingy and uh, begin on one side on the left side of the camera oh sorry I use a JIS 00, zero uh, which is just a modified Philips 00, zero. Uh, like this uh, Vera screwdriver crosshead screwdriver this is just a, a good quality, in my opinion. So um, <clears throat> I take one screw on the left side, four screw on the bottom part, and two here on the right side. It will then it will be possible to take off the back part of the camera without any problem. Just put the screws in the correct order so it will not be that easy I mean <laughs> not that hard to do this stuff I just put the the screws as a um, <clears throat> as when you read reading things I just put the screws in, in that order it works for me <clears throat> somebody else make a drawing and put the screws in the, on the piece of paper so they can find out so it's different it it's uh, what works best for who sit and work with the camera <clears throat> so here we are almost 
So there's two, four, six, seven screws that hold the back part. The, then we also need to um, take off the the rubber grip thingy here. So, and that's it. There's no screws on here or in the <coughs> battery compartment, nothing here. So that's it. So, one can lift up this here. There's nothing special there. But, so you just begin to lift up here gently. And, or you can use a flathead screwdriver or whatever you actually prefer. Just do it gently. <clears throat> there is also some piece of adhesive paper or sticky something. So uh, if you hold like here and then Hmm. Yeah, we have to loosen this uh, piece of adhesive something. Let's get it loose. Okay, come on. So, out with this. And then we, it's more possible to do it like this and the other side, which one can actually put a screwdriver in here and then something like this and have a good grip here because <clears throat> then I will lift off the uh, display the back part and then we are in the camera there is one connection here oh there is one connection here so and then just lift off with a I use my dentist tool but one could actually use some maybe a small screwdriver or other flat tools and then here we are now <clears throat> you see I would like to go in here and see what's inside um, so I can just take off the the uh, main board motherboard would one say and there are some connections around here which I need to take off and um, so that will do so this one here there this one here hmm. and of course there's something under could use a tweezer here. Take care of the flex, they are some kinds sometimes fragile. So you see there's another one under here. That we also have to lift up. So and then push it gently out so and this one it is the same here take care of the circuit board because um, do not need to scratch anything you could use a toothpick toothstick or something um, what I do I use this uh, sticky rubber tweezer to actually take off things like this there's another one here 
<clears throat> this tweezer I made myself with uh, some plastic coat which I uh, spray on the on each end and let it dry and it's it works actually very good I mean it's much easier than just use a sharp pointy tweezer so we are almost there and this one take care of the some of the flex are actually very would you say very thin so and this one is a bit more tricky but uh, it goes and this one will lift up a little and then push out that was almost that there is one behind here maybe you can see here this one oh here which I need to unhook it's possible that way <clears throat> I think I will also take off the top cover but um, for now all the flex and all that stuff is actually loose so next there are some screws around here there's one here there is one there and over in the corner here and there's something hidden under this um, flex cable and of course I have to lift up the um, the uh, center what do you say tensor connection so and it looks like this so now it's actually ready to be unscrewed Not really that big screws, but uh, okay, they have used some some hmm, kind of rubber glue or whatever plastic glue to lock the screw. And the, the last one up here. So, and then is it possible to take out? Yeah, it looks like. Well, I could, I mean, I could take this off too. It will make it a little easier to work with. Maybe it's not necessary, I don't know. I do not have a repair manual for this camera. So, um, therefore it will only be a disassemble process. So, I mean, maybe I can fix the shot. I don't know yet. It will. I mean, it could be. 
always. Now, now we a little has a little more open view on this. Then it should be possible. I mean, I could just lift this up and hopefully lift up the anything here no just some flex cables and here we are there's a funny thing here about the flash thing because Canon use a kind of um, fiber um, glass to um, send the information from the front to the sensor that uh, measure the flash thingy and it's connected to here I think it's something like that they it has they have the same in their flashes so I would guess it's a thing now <clears throat> can also take this <coughs> cable here so disconnected so that was the motherboard I mean one of them <laughs> so now we are just a little, little closer inside here. Um, so what do we gonna do? I think I will take off the front part. The man, I mean the front here. So just peel off this uh, rubber plastic something. And uh, there's one screw hidden behind it we need to take off and there are actually three, three screws here one at the, the battery chamber and there is one here on the other side and there's one on the bottom of the mount And there is two screws up here <coughs> over the mount. And then it should be possible to what say take off the the front the front cover. And there we are. So we have to lift up here this uh, <clears throat> on the tripod mount. Just push on it, and uh, then it should be possible to take off the front here. So it looks plastic plastic so now we are inside I mean more inside the camera uh, it would be interesting to go in and and see the I mean how the shutter is actually assembled it assemble it but um, yeah I'll take a look on it so I would guess just my guess 
that I uh, need to <coughs> take off the top cover. <coughs> Remember one thing, there's actually a capacitor, I mean a high voltage capacitor. <coughs> it has a it has some power in <coughs> so it can uh, if you hit it the right place you can get a really <coughs> over your fingers. It hurts. I can tell. So now I think I will uh, yeah. I think I will take off those four screws here. The diopter screw first there's some uh, two parts here the screw and the small hand wheel finger screw or something <clears throat> like that and then the three screws around here so I hope uh, people can find this information about how to how it looks inside so and there are two more screws here on each side one here and one here <coughs> I think it would be that but I'm not quite sure yet there's so many screws that hold this camera in place Really tight. Of course, it will not come out, so just help it a little. <coughs> so, <coughs> and uh, it, I think it's free now. Not quite sure, but let's see what's happened if I take off the, the lid. Well, <clears throat> what I first have to do is disconnect the, uh, the flash connection here. There's some cables, I mean connectors. Here and there is something here. I guess it's the. Uh, I would guess it's the. Um, I don't know yet what it is, but anyway, I think I have to take it off. Okay. Mm hmm. How do they put this in? Mm -hmm. Nah, not really good. Sometimes those plastic connectors are not really good. <laughs> I mean, most of the time it's just to pull out but this is yeah <laughs> you have to lift it up but <clears throat> well thanks heaven and this the yellow one here 
the yellow plug which also need to be I think I can do this like here push it out okay and the red one which have the uh, the main power for the flash push it out remember there is still power on the uh, circuit board so uh -huh, take care now I think I have to zoom a little more out some more yeah it's better I guess so then it should be possible to lift off the top part which looks like this as you can see so here is the um, the uh, motor that actually unhook the flash <clears throat> the motor is sitting here and it has a gearbox that switch between <clears throat> what I would guess part of the mirror no it should sit down here but um, when you push on the button on the flash uh, which sits this is here when you push on here on the button no the button uh, for the flash uh, it will actually activate the motor here and again activate the gearbox here which will make some movement and then push on it Let's see if I can show it better so if I push this wheel just a little it will move some plastic parts that push again on the uh, it's spring loaded so so you can see how it actually works so that was it now I could use the the hard way to uh, what you say <clears throat> uh, take the amount of electricity from the capacitor by simply doing a short circuit but uh, I mean well it's the hard way so I could I could just so wow <laughs> so that's why there is a lot of power in this camera you see that's why it happened so take care of when when uh, this charge the capacitor there is a lot of power in it I mean some people have bad hearts and uh, I mean sometimes sometimes they die <laughs> yeah now what I would like to do is to yeah take off the the daughter board which sits on the front that's the daughter board as I uh, have written red so it's held by one two three screws this is here wow that was interesting with that capacitor <laughs> 
So you see, do you think it's it's dangerous to work with cameras? No, I don't think. Well, it could be. So this uh, is coming off. Maybe I'm lucky I can peel off this here. Yeah. And out with the capacitor. Let's go. Hmm. Not really. <clears throat> I thought I could just lift it up, but uh, it's not really that possible. And there is some connection down here, <coughs> which I also have to lift up as uh, like the other one up here. <coughs> this pop and maybe it's possible to lift it out hmm. yes here we are actually I don't think it has well it looks not that bad it's just some dark thingy <laughs> but look at my screwdriver <laughs> whoa See, there's a lot of power in new cameras. Well, so to get into the shutter, uh, I think I would take off the parts over here. Or maybe just take off the sensor, which should be held by By some screws, I mean, there is a cover that uh, sits here. Okay, hold on a second. Yeah, I will get, I will, would guess this screw. And mm -hmm. not really, yeah. I think so. There is a kind of and I think it would be this one, which is all here. This one, maybe most of the time, it's hold, only hold by three screws because it's easier to. I think it's easier for the factory to uh, adjust things. No, oh, it's actually held by four. Mm -hmm. I'll screw up here. You might think they, uh, <coughs> you might say that uh, why disassemble this camera? Well, sometimes someone has to show other how it looks, and uh, yeah. Okay, out here, and then should be lifting up. This maybe I get this shot out. Maybe I get the the. Uh, Center out. Okay, yeah, this one has to be taken off too. Like this. And mm, some tools. This one, I mean. I have no idea of taking too much 
things off. So uh, I would just <coughs> go slowly forward and see if it's possible. Oh, okay, see ya. Things are loose. Just push on this. Mm -hmm. So, and I would guess it's possible. Maybe it's me. So, and now it should be something possible to take out the sensor. This is actually was, but there was another flex cable here that needs to be taken out. Like this. And then the sensor is free. It looks nice. All those colors. Okay. <clears throat> and then we have the shutter assembly. I mean, the back side of the shutter, which is not really good. <laughs> and uh, this is how it looks. Okay, there is something broken in here yeah see some one of the shutter blades is actually not <coughs> working because it's uh, out of place so um, what I would like to do is, if it's possible, to take out the shutter assembly and then maybe slide it out here. <coughs> Let's see. Some screws. We might have some screws. Hmm. Okay, one need to take off this part here. So, um, the two screws here, <coughs> and then maybe it's possible to yeah, and it's held held in place by those two screws here you can see there there's one screw up here and there are some washers that uh, make the distance adjustment washers and actually there are two here on the lower left corner and there is one up here no there are two no that's just a big one uh, yeah two there was two as we can see so, like this. Now, is it possible to take out the shutter here? I hope so. That's a frame that holds things in place. <coughs> one here and uh, hmm. ok 
okay. If I press down here gently, is it? Yeah, there are two screws down here. Which I guess is part of it. Yeah, it looks like the sole part of it there of the uh, <coughs> shutter assembly. So I hope it is possible to loosen it. No, I mean one cannot just pull it out. Okay, yeah, I see there's something here. They hold together there, there. I think I just need to unscrew those two screws. One there, and another one up here. So one can see it's actually a complicated process to change the shutter in those uh, <coughs> cheaper camera. Maybe I'm wrong. So here we have the battery chamber and I think it's the so oh. now let's see if we can go into the shutter itself. <laughs> Take two screws on the front and I mean one can actually learn a lot by s seeing the uh, disassembled process. So. So now we have the bag. Okay, see what we got here. Okay, I guess it should be possible to unhook this frame. There's not really any screws. Take care of the flex. Hey, this flex here is really annoying. Hey, here we are. And of course, there. So this is a frame that holds most of the things in place. And here we have the shutter itself which is, I mean, I mean, it could be really interesting to take it apart, but uh, where is it connected here? Part of it there, <clears throat> but there's something screw here. I mean, there's just a <clears throat> a thing. Take it apart, see what's inside, and learn from it. I think we have something here, yay! Now there's one screw over here, which I hope I can get by um, take this flex away and not damage it. 
and that's the one screw over here. And now the shutter itself should be okay. No, not really. Hmm. I think I have to take this screw out. Uh, also, hmm. it's amazing how many screws this is done by. Here. Okay. So here we are, actually. So it sits like this. The viewfinder is here. And it's put in like this here, which is connected to the to the mirror itself, like okay, I have to zoom out a little. So this is a mirror function. And the shutter itself. So this arm goes into the engage with the with the mirror. But uh, I want to go closer into the shutter itself. So there's one more screw here. And then, if I lift up around here, I can possibly open it up. Yeah, here we are. So that's the inside of a shutter that is broken. So let's see. How it is actually looks when it you can see one <clears throat> we miss one little piece of metal here that um, is yeah. One curtain and the other one that goes like this. Okay, can I push it? Well, I don't know. See the shutter blades in the other section, but uh, the first shutter, I mean, <laughs> wow, they really, really wear out. <clears throat> it's really broken. See, <clears throat> there should be one axle here, this hole, but uh, this um, P 
piece of metal is the axle or whatever it calls is actually away so it doesn't really work work anymore so that's a shame but uh, so it is I mean I hope you have learned something what's inside a camera and of course take care when working with the capacitor you see you saw what happened when I put a screwdriver on and just make a short circuit it gives some marks on my screwdriver so <laughs> and I beat <coughs> well <clears throat> so um, that was actually all for now so uh, hope you enjoy it bye bye and uh, just to mention one thing <laughs> There will be no this is uh, there will be no assemble process of this camera so um i mean i can use the sensor in a in another camera and the back the display i can use in another of my cameras so uh, well so that was all for now bye bye <laughs> Again.